Hi there everybody my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve some Boatswigger web security labs and today I will be going to solve server side request forgery which is a quite difficult bug right now and I will be going to solve the first lab today which is very basic SSRF and I will be going to solve the all of the labs in such a way that I am hunting onto a live bug bounty platform so that being said let's jump in okay coming to this academy i am having server side request forgery and this one is the first lab which says basic ssrf against the local server and if i come to this lab right over here we have the description as well now the one thing which i didn't like about these labs is that like they completely tell us that what we need to do where the vulnerability is and how we will be going to exploit it and that's the thing which actually causes a lot of problems when you are going into live bug bounty program because the main thing is that you need to find these hidden places where you can test for SSRF. So I will be just going to show in such a way that you should know that how you can find these sort of things as well and then you can exploit them. So right over here it says that the lab has a stock feature which fetches data from the internal system. To solve the lab, change the stock check URL to access the admin inter interface at this place. So there is somewhere admin endpoint running and we need to get that admin endpoint and we need to delete the user Carlos. So clicking on access the lab, we have this lab. Now this looks like a shopping site over here. We have my account functionality right over here. And the first thing which I will do is I will always always turn my burp suite on and my burp suit is running in my backend so i am having a login page so username and password so i can try here some uh, default credentials then i can try here for sql injection then i can try here for different vulnerabilities but right here this is what how your attack flow should be you should click on every link everything you should see the details of every product every item and then this is how you should go on so right over here i am having check stock functionality i can click on check stock because everything is getting logged in my target history and right now it will not because i need to add the scope so what i will do is let's copy this part only and let's paste it over here right now and yes now if i click on re-enable and if i go to proxy now i can see everything which i have clicked so i will be filtering that based upon the time so i should see the latest request on the top so right over here this is the latest request on the top which i did on product slash stock this was the second one which was having some parameter so there are two requests which are having parameter one of them is product id parameter and on which when i click the product and the second one is product slash stock so right over here i am having product id of one so if i just send this to repeater control r and control shift r to switch to that tab and control space to actually send it and i will render this to see what it shows me so it shows me product number one so what if i do 1000 or 10000 it says it is not found so if i say 10000 single quote i'm just trying to check for sql injection because product id parameter normally i would think that i should try sql injection so double quote single quote or one is equal to one then minus minus space minus and i need to url encode this thing so control u to url encode doesn't work so if i do something let's say a uh, single quote and minus minus space minus again url encode invalid product id if i do plus hash hash is also used for commenting out so if i do double quotes so everywhere it is giving me invalid product id i can pass it out to sql map as well product number one is this one and so on so this is the first parameter which i found actually the second parameter which i am having here is this one and this one is actually having the stock api parameter which this is a post request and i am having a url somewhere over here so whenever i see a url i will definitely test for server-side request forgery because server-side request forgery is the 
द अटैक और यू कैन से वेर वी ओनली try to put some sort of urls to try to see whether i am able to access their internal resources or no so right over here what i can do is i can try to uh, remove this url because it is showing me 98 and it is working fine so what if i try to remove this and i simply do localhost which is 127.0.0.1 and hit send and it says missing parameter so if i try to say let's say localhost missing parameter and if i try to do something sort of let's say http colon slash slash abc oh i do got a page but this time it says 500 internal server error right over here but i got some response back so if i try to do now localhost let's say localhost send and we do get a page again and this time you can see right over here i am having the admin panel as well so i can try some other things as well like i, I can do 127001 because localhost sometimes can be blacklisted so i can try 127001 and i am having admin panel again and again there are some bypasses so i can also try to do 127.1 as well and that works as well because if we want to see bypasses i highly highly recommend trying to go over to payload all the things and payload all the things should uh, show us the bypasses so if i try ssrf right over here server side request forgery and you can come over here on payload all the things get all of the payloads try each of these so let me show you the one of the, the favorites ones which i mostly use so these three were the very basic one then what i like to do is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, .0. Uh, I just missed it zero again and it says invalid IPv4 address so if I try to do colon port 80 let's see if this works doesn't work so I can also try to do over here something sort of this thing so colon colon and send internal server error then I also try to do local test dot me and internal server error so these sort of things i always always try to do on any place where i do i can also try to uh, put this public ip or i believe aws so 169.254 always always put these things and if these are not working try to encode these dot signs as well so this is the very basic usage to find SSR. So if I try to do now 127.0.0.1 send and I do have now the admin panel so I can also uh, show the response in browser so I have a shortcut key control shift C I believe right over here or I don't know exactly but I will do that for just my ease. So I can click on show response in browser, I can copy this URL, I can come back and I can simply paste it and I should have the login page. But the problem is that this is accessing by internally. So if I click on admin panel, I should not get anything. So it says admin interface is only when I am logged in as administrator or if requested from a loopback which is localhost. So I need to do everything right over here. So I can see the endpoint is admin. So I can now do slash admin over here send and now it shows me this page now i don't know how to delete these users so i can either again do the same thing show response in browser come back paste the response and i can click on delete the carlos i believe and again i got the same error message but in the url i got the endpoint so if i come back paste that endpoint over here send it says 302 found and if i come back over here you can see my lab has been solved so this was a very very basic ssrf how to find it and how to actually exploit some things and that was all about this video i hope you will like it and i will see you in the next video take care bye